Hello everybody, Miss Quinlan here. I'm really excited because this week is not only our return to school, but it is also British Science Week. You will be doing lots of fun science tasks and experiments with your teachers this week, but I'm going to kick us off with some practical tasks that you could do at home. In our first experiment today, we're going to be making rain clouds. You need for this experiment a jar or a glass, some water, some food colouring, and I've mixed it with a little bit of water, and some shaving foam. So what I'm going to do is add the water to my glass, I'd say about halfway or three quarters, roughly about that full. And my next step is to add the shaving foam to the water. What do you think is going to happen when I do that? Let's find out. I'm going to try and sort of fill my glass. Be careful because the shaving foam does expand. Now if you have a look, you can see that the shaving foam is sitting on top of the water. For some of you older students, can you think about what you know about states of matter and explain why the shaving foam is sitting on top of the water? Think about the particles in the shaving foam and the water. My next step, using a pipette, I'm going to add some droplets of the food colouring mixed with water to my shaving foam cloud. What do you think is going to happen? Pause the video and discuss with the people around you. So be careful if you're doing this at home, try not to get any food colouring all over your table. Put a good few droplets in there and let's see what's going to happen. So have a look at what's happening here. Think about what the food colouring is doing and can you apply that to your knowledge of how clouds work? What do you think I'm trying to show you here? I don't know if you can see, but as I look up towards the cloud I can see that there's a lot of the blue food colouring gathering and it's very very slowly making its way down. So the food colouring which is acting as the rain saturates the cloud so the rain saturates the cloud and eventually it becomes too heavy so the cloud releases the rain down towards the earth. And you can see that it's created a really beautiful effect. So you might want to have a go at this at home and see what happens over time. You might want to try it with different coloured food colouring as well to see what amazing things you can create. You may have noticed at the start of the video that I have managed to make a can of Sprite lean at an angle and it's got nothing holding it up. What do you think I've done here to achieve this? Pause the video and discuss with people around you. This is a really good trick that you could try with people at home. So what I've done to achieve this is I've put a little bit of water in the bottom of the can not too much, so it's probably about up to here. And that helps when I balance the can, oh, she says, it helps it, the water, sometimes it needs to move a little bit, I hope you can see that, the water, because it's weighing down either side, balances out and it allows the can to stand like this. Now, if I pour the water away, doesn't work anymore. So something you could do at home is you could get two empty cans and you could give your parents or your siblings or a neighbour once lockdown's over um, the empty can and you could have a little bit of water in your can and you could balance it and ask them to do the same and see what happens. For our final experiment 
If you wanted to try this at home, you need baking powder or bicarbonate of soda, vinegar, a balloon and a funnel. I didn't have one at home, so I've just made one out of paper and an empty plastic bottle. Does anybody know what experiment I'm about to do? I'm going to start by pouring the vinegar carefully into my plastic bottle. When you're selecting your bottle, try and choose one that's got a small diameter. Okay, you'll see why in a second. I'm now going to use the funnel to put two teaspoons, hopefully without throwing it everywhere, of baking powder into the balloon. It should drop nicely in like that. So the reason I need a thin bottle is because I now put the balloon over the rim of the bottle. Make sure it's secure. Make sure there's no air gaps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the balloon up. The bicarbonate of soda is going to drop into the vinegar. What do you think is going to happen then? Discuss with people around you what you think is going to happen. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so we've got a reaction taking place down here. There's no sound, but what do you notice is happening? First of all in the bottle, and second of all, on top. Can you explain what's going on here? So it's still moving, looks like a foam here. It's still growing very slowly, it's still moving. You can see that there's bubbles in the foam. And now I can see, if I look to the bottom of the bottle, I can see that the vinegar is starting to reappear down here. So what do you think is happening? So when you mix baking powder and vinegar, an acid-base reaction occurs. And that chemical reaction produces a gas. Do you know what gas that might be? Some of you might know that it causes carbon dioxide. So that carbon dioxide creates bubbles and creates a foam. So inside this bottle now, the carbon dioxide is filling up and has managed to fill our balloon. What do you think will happen if I leave this now for a long period of time? Discuss with people around you what might happen. So I'm going to leave this here for now. You might want to try it out at home. For those of you who are in key stage two, you might be able to tell me whether you think this is a reversible or an irreversible change. So this might be something that you want to discuss with your teachers now. I hope that you enjoyed the science experiments. If you do manage to do any of these at home, please do send me some photos because I'd love to see how you get on. Just before you go, I'd like to draw your attention to this. Have you seen this before? Does anybody know what it is? This is the Perseverance, the rover that has been sent by NASA to Mars. I would highly recommend having a look on NASA's website and following the progress of the Mars rover as it explores the planet in a way that we have never seen before. I find it absolutely fascinating and I'm sure you will too. You could incorporate this into part of your science week. I hope that you enjoyed today's assembly and that you have fun celebrating British Science Week this week. Have an amazing first week back, and I'll see you soon. Final bit. I did promise my Year 5 class that I would show a few of the outtakes from my science video that I recorded for them and today's Can assembly. Can you relate that to your knowledge? work the
this. I'm going to put two teaspoons of baking powder or bicarbonate of soda into my balloon using the funnel without hopefully throwing it all over the table. Make sure you shake it in. 